eating while driving. And our wine. Mm -hmm. Morning-ish, Trainiacs. It's almost 12.30 because Everyone is out of town. Chris is down at the Green Day concert in Minneapolis. Coach Pat is still biking around in France. Nicole is doing Galveston 70.3 tomorrow. Trevor's on rest week. Super Dave, I think, is biking in the Okanagan. So that means I'm running by my lonesome today. And that also means that I get to make stops every kilometer of, I think I'm gonna do 15 kilometers, and I am going to discuss 15 unexpected ways, oh, rocks in the shoes, hello. 15 unexpected ways that triathlon changes your life when you take it out. I'm not really gonna discuss them, it's just gonna be a fun list. All right, let's go. So the first unexpected way that triathlon changes your life instantly when you start it is that you get hungry all the time. Like day one this happens. The next way is that you gotta buy a lot of clothes. A, because you're super studly and you're losing a lot of weight. And B, because you wanna look even studlier in Lycra. Best part. Challenges just all of a sudden don't seem so daunting in all of life. <clears throat> Dang it. Challenges that other people find intimidating, you find exciting. You and your friends do gross things like talk about digestive problems, saddle sores, pee on the side of the road, and it seems completely normal. You, uh, cry every November at the stories of the athletes that are so inspiring at the Ironman World Championships in Hawaii. It's just, it's just sand in my eye. You start getting up really early to train, like really early. You start going to bed really early so that you can get your workouts in. Geese are back in Winnipeg, that means it's spring. Eating while driving becomes a thing. Next is that money that you used to spend on socializing it starts getting spent on bike parts. Maki, maki. Bad decision for a camera placement. Your lycra to regular clothes ratio in the laundry becomes drastically skewed towards stretchy things. Ah, ah. Hearing Mike Riley tell you, you are an Iron Man, becomes your life's mission. Ooh, you're shaky. Words like niggle, fartlek, and chamois butter all just become commonplace in your vocabulary. I'm not gonna make you shake again. Second to last, you start grocery shopping at the bike store. Well, that is that. 15 and a half kilometers because the extra half from running back and forth. And last and coolest aspect of taking up triathlon is that you become a total badass in all aspects of your life because you've gotten in the habit of conquering challenges and saying yes to things that you've wanted to overcome your entire life. Good run, eh? Good run. Okay, now that that's all over, I gotta head to the office because I am going to be on Adam Granoff's Intelligent Racer podcast. He sent me the list of things that he wants to talk about. I think it's gonna be pretty cool and motivating. Stick around for it. Almost forgot that I had this podcast this week. So who we've got right now, who we've got right now is Adam Granoff, who runs the Intelligent Racer, and he d interviews athletes from all different disciplines. Uh, and I think what we're talking about today that piqued his interest is the marathon swim that we've got coming up. Coach Pat, friend Jacques, that we're doing 39 kilometers in Red River to show people that 
yes, you can go from being afraid of the water to doing a marathon swim. I'm gonna tell them that this is ready to go. Hey, Taryn. Hey, how you doing, Adam? How you doing? Good. Quite overweight as an early 20 year old. Uh, something clicked in me at one point in university and I said, you know what, I, I don't really wanna be out of shape like this. It was a slower time than I thought I was going to have, but relatively speaking, I placed where I thought I would be. So all right, gang, we're here with Adam. Do you want to introduce yourself to the trainiacs, I call them? Sure, yeah, I'm Adam, uh, and I have a podcast called The Intelligent Racer, and I had Taryn on the show today, so thank you so much for being on my podcast, and we talked a lot about triathlon and your swimming uh, exploits, so that was cool, and I had a black eye for the last two weeks, so I don't do a lot of stuff on video, but, uh, you know, today I'm on video, but my eye looks okay, so it, uh, you know, led up, the timing worked out perfectly. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I've got a face for radio, but I stick it on video every day. <laughs> so two questions. Number one, when would they be able to see it online? I'll link to it in the, in the description. April 10th, so a week from this coming Monday. I, I've actually got a, uh, a bit of a question for you. Out of all of the, the interviews that you've done, what has been the biggest takeaway that you've you've gleaned? You know, the, the most important thing I think I've learned so far in my journey of all of this is to, to have a really good reason why you're doing something. And there is uh, um, uh, Nick uh, Holland, who is a Barclays marathon finisher, uh, told me kind of his philosophy, which is, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when the going gets really tough in these races and, you know, whether it's a uh, heat or you have nutrition problems or whatever, if you have a really good reason why you're doing it, you'll push through those low moments and you'll you'll uh, persevere. So I like that. Exactly. That's good. <laughs> okay, check them out. So that's it. That's a day of uh, running and podcasting. So, whoa, whoa. Good. Go. What are we doing right now? Going for a date. So we got our pizzas and our wine, mm -hmm. and it's crazy in there. I know how to take a lady on a nice date. That's true. All right, scarf your pie. We gotta hurry. That is how you crush a pizza. In the car. Before we go, heartwarming, hello. We got this video, and Taryn is not a person who shows a lot of emotion. This is wife, I can tell you this. But he got all gushy and like, oh. Volume. Ah, ah, I'm a social media expert. I should know how to do this. Who does daddy like to watch on YouTube all the time? Tehran Terry? Who do you like to watch on YouTube all the time? Tehran Terry. <laughs> what does Traff Juan Terry do? He does triathlons. Who else does triathlons? Daddy! Yeah! <laughs> well, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, family. All the feels. Yes, even that's not something he would normally say in regular life, so he's quite touched. And it's awesome because, ultimately, he's just a dude who eats pizza in the back of his car. I eat pizza and drink wine in the back of a Kia. So when people appreciate all the work he's putting into the Triathlon Terran um, YouTube channel, it's pretty awesome. And hopefully you have a good race. And I understand your wife will never be in a race, but that's okay. She won't be either. Nope. Every good trainiac needs an excellent Sherpa. Okay, we gotta go to dinner now. Movie.